we all are born with different ranges. We're all born with different voices and we're all born with different ways to express things. I'm Ana T. Tuesday. I'm a local singer-songwriter in the San Diego area. I, I remember back to when I was like a small, small child. My parents bought for me this little toy, kind of a ring -a piano thing. It was the, just this toy piano that was um, had maybe six piano keys on it. They also gave me a toy microphone when I got older, played around with that. I pretended I wanted to be a rock star, you know. So I think maybe there was glimpses in my youngest childhood days about going into music. I never thought that it would actually become real. I first started songwriting when I was in college, so that puts me back in 2003. Um, I was studying music at the time up in Washington, and I just one day decided to start composing and writing music and see if there was anything for me in that kind of a field. Painted your windows, a lighter shade of After graduating from college, I decided to come back down to the San Diego area. Uh, it took me a while to get back into songwriting, actually. I got married, started teaching piano, and got busy with adjusting to life in those terms. And then just I tried writing, but had the biggest writer's block ever. I could not get through such a thick brick wall. And after a long time, I just decided to stop. I just gave up. And I just said, okay, maybe it was just a college thing. I want to say last year, last May, I actually had a huge craving and a huge desire to get back into art again, to get music in particular. And one day I just picked up a guitar and decided to start writing and it actually worked. The brick wall wasn't there anymore. I was able to take everything I've always wanted to say that I had been building up for the past four years, however long it had been, and put it into musical form again. So I get inspiration from the people I listen to. I also get inspiration from walking through art galleries. I could spend hours in art galleries just looking at things, contemplating things, um, wondering you know, what the meaning is behind everything that I see, reading in between the lines um, to a certain extent. I would say the most rewarding thing for me is displaying the artwork, going to coffee houses, even though it might, I mean, music is not necessarily visual art, it is when you're playing it in front of people. You're telling your stories, you're sharing your most intimate you know, experiences with people in whatever way you want to. And when people, when you can tell that people are listening to you, you can tell, you know, they, they can relate to you, they're drawn in, they can, they can have your music be a gift to them. Shine, to let go of every secret you hold. 